Once your pivot table is formatted and filtered the way you want it, you can display the data graphically with a pivot chart. Pivot charts let you use any of Excel's built-in charts to illustrate pivot table data. To make a pivot chart, begin by clicking on any cell pivot table. Under the Options tab of the Pivot Table Tools, you'll find the Tools group on the right-hand side. Click on the Pivot Chart button. A dialog box opens letting you select the type of chart you want to make. For this example, let's use the Clustered Cylinder Chart type. Then click OK. Your pivot chart will appear in the current worksheet along with your data, the pivot table, and the slicers you created. Things are getting a little messy and the chart is too small to work with, so let's move it to its own worksheet. Notice that the ribbon has changed now to display pivot chart tools. On the right side of the ribbon is the Move Chart button in the Location group. Click on the Move Chart button. Excel's default is to place the pivot chart as an object in the current worksheet, but you can move the chart to a new worksheet by clicking on the radio button. Then select the name of the new worksheet. Let's use Pivot Chart. Then click OK. The chart has now been moved to its own worksheet called Pivot Chart. The worksheet is also bigger now, making it easier for us to work with. Now let's focus on the Pivot Chart tools provided in Excel. You can customize and refine your pivot chart, much like a pivot table, by using these four tabs. The Design tab will let you change the basic layout and style of your chart. In the Data group, you can switch the rows and columns of your chart, or even change the data table displayed in the chart. With the Chart Layout group, you can select a predefined layout with a different axis label, title, and legend placement. Finally, with the Chart Styles group, you can change the color scheme and background of your pivot chart. The Layout tab gives you much greater control over the layout of the chart than the Design tab. On the Insert group, you can insert a picture file, shape art, or text box to help explain your chart. With the Labels group, you can control the presence and positioning of individual layout elements. For example, let's add a title to this chart. Click on the Chart Title button, then select Above the Chart. Excel resizes the chart area and places title text box above the chart. Click on the text box and highlight the words to change them. Let's make the title Average Salary by Position and Gender. With the background group, you can change the color and display of the chart walls and floor. Here I'll make the chart floor a different color. Click on the Chart Floor button and select More Floor Options. A dialog box opens where I can select different types of floor colors and styles. I'll just select a solid fill and keep the default blue color. Click on Close. The Format tab gives you lots of control over the graphics on your chart. Here you can change the color and style of the chart cylinders. 
select one of the blue cylinders for females. Now we can change the style. With the word art styles group, you can change the text style and effects in your chart. Let's make the chart title stand out more. Select the chart title, then in the drop down menu on word art styles, select the purple A with the reflection. Now click on text effects, select reflection, and choose full reflection touching. Next, click on text fill and select a bright red. Finally, click on text outline and select the same bright red. By now I'll bet you're getting the hang of formatting pivot charts. Feel free to play around and see all the different options for creating your own unique style. In the last video for our series on pivot tables and charts, you'll learn how to filter the data in your pivot chart, just like we did for pivot tables. I'll see you there!